Unit 1. Getting to know you. Open your textbook. Uh, by the way, guideline from this picture. This picture, you will see the people that are looking at an art exhibition in San Diego, the Compostela in Spain. Well, throughout the creations, those kind of people do you see? It depends, man, because sure that people will come here because they like art uh, so they are looking at the gallery the first thing we want to, you to learn in this unit you can ask questions to get basic personal information and can interview yourself talk about where you come from and what you do and on the on part b you have to describe about person appearance even though uh, describe yourself too. Look at the picture. From this picture, there are people on a busy street in New York City. I will let you look at the video to know more about people in far away from us. Review grammar. Sefi is writing about herself and her classmates. Read the sentences and write the correct form of each verb in present simple form. Monica and me. Monica is singular. The so verb to be used with Monica is am um, are used what? Is my classmate. And we. We. Verb to be used with be is are. So we are different in many ways. I verb to be used with I is am. I am an only child. Monica have has has used with I you we they and has used with singular. She he is. So Monica is singular. So use has. Monica has two brothers and a sister. I live. I is exception. So, person simple live with I don't put S. I live with my family. Monica live. Monica is singular. So, we put S. Monica lives in her own apartment. We, we both go to Western University, but I study. I don't change anything with verb. So, study English literature and Monica. Monica is singular, so verb. And bit Y, chain Y to I and put E S. Monica, studies business. I, not have. Negative use don't or doesn't. For plural, I, you, we, they use with don't. Singular subject use he, she, it. Oh, sorry. He, she is singular subject use doesn't. So, I use don't have a job. Singular subject. Uh, we put as Monica. Where, so, Monica is singular. So, we put as Monica works part time in a cafe. I. Uh, so, I know as I live. Dance music. Monica, not like. Negative, just don't or doesn't. I, you, we, they, plural subject, just don't. Singular subject, he, she, it, use doesn't. Monica is singular, so use doesn't, doesn't like it. She, she is singular. we we'll put as. Uh, she listens to rap. Monica and I is plural, so we put don't put anything. 
So Monica and I watch TV together on the weekends. Complete questions. Number one to number four with the correct form of verb to be or verb to do. And then complete the question from number five to number eight with a WH question word. So you look at the sentence. One to four, you to do work to be or work to do. You take a notice. Number one, Sophie and Monica different. What the missing? Number two, Sophie and is uh, Sophie and only child was missing. Work to be or work to be missing. For present continue, for present simple. The first structure when they have verb. If you want. Uh, change the affirmative sentence become a yes no question when they have verb you have to use actually verb or helping verb to help them to become yes no question so you have to use verb what, to be or to do uh, we sorry uh, you have to use verb to do yeah so you have to use verb to do. Do also have do and does. For singular, we use does. For plural, we use do. For number four, Monica and Sophie is plural subject, right? Also have go. Yeah. So they already have verb. If you want to change this affirmative to become question, so you have to use verb to do to help them. So is. Uh, for subject is Monica and Sefri, so we use do. And number one and number two, they have the no verb, the no verb. So verb to do when they have verb, you use verb to do to help become a question. But yeah. number one and number two, no verb, so they are missing verb what well, verb to be. Sophie and Monica is plural, so we use are. Uh, are Sophie and Monica different? If you want to change back to affirmative, you can say Sophie and Monica are different. Sophie and only shy uh, is singular, so we use what? What missing? We have to be missing, right? So we use is. Is Sophie and only shy? So you change back to affirmative. Become Sophie is an only shy. Number three. Yeah. For singular, we use does. Monica and Sophie use do. For number five to number eight, use the WH question. <laughs> Subject does Sophie study? What, where, when, why, who, whom, whose? Use what? Use what subject? Okay. So does Monica work? See, they're asking about place. Like, you use who when you want to ask for the person. You use where when you ask about place. <laughs> you use all right, which for the for when you want to choose something. So this one. Uh, Monica work, of course, you ask about press, right? So you use what? Where? Yeah. Number seven, Sophie live with, live with, hmm, ask about person, right? So when you ask about person, you use what? Who? Who does Sophie live with? Yeah. And Monica live. Yeah. So you want to know Monica live. So use what? Where? Ask about press again. Number D, a D, complete a sentence with affirmative or negative verb in the box to make is true for you. So you use these verbs speak, have started, and like. It depends on you. True for you. I don't like, uh, I have or don't have a middle name. I like or don't like my first name. I speak or don't speak more than one language as well. I study or don't study on the weekend. Uh, I like or don't like my hometown. I have 
or study a various a various subject at school. It depends. It's true for you. Ah, uh, we come here again. Yeah. For affirmative, T was uh, put as red dress. Negative, she doesn't like red dress. Does he play ping pong on Thursday? For yes no question. For the WH question, what does he do on Thursday? For person simple as verb to be form. For affirmative, she is a student. Negative, she isn't a student. Is she a student? Who is she? For this part, actually, they would like you to uh, ask question for your classmate, but I will change a little bit. I will ask you, and then it's true for you. You answer yes or no. For example, do you have a part-time job? So you, if you have part-time job, you write here. Yes, I do. If you don't have, you write this box. No, I don't. Do you travel sometimes? If yes, yes, I do. If never go anywhere, you write here. No, I don't. Do you like listening to rap music? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Are you a university student? Of course, you are a university student. So is your answer? Yes, I am. Do you play soccer? Do you play soccer? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you have a sister? Do you have sister? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you go dancing on the weekends? Do you know cell phone? Um, his or her cell phone number in English. It means you can read number in English or not. Do you drive a car? Do you eat breakfast every day? Do you know an email address in English? Do you watch movie every week? Do you speak three languages? Are you an only child? That's all for unit one part A. Hope you understand. If you want to review the lesson, you can uh, repeat the video again. Do you eat breakfast every day? Do you know an email address in English? Do you watch movie every week? Do you speak three languages? Are you an only child? That's all for unit one part A. Hope you understand. If you want to review the lesson, you can uh, repeat the video again. Bye.